Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York uh, Courthouse. You'll see some TV TV cameras. What day is it? It's the day for the sentencing of Sam Bankman Fried. We've covered the trial, we've covered the case actually, even before he was uh, picked up and then sort of, he was extradited, but with several of the, of the charges dropped, including the China bribes and including the camp- campaign finance violations. That's a major thing. Although, now the government, perhaps to make up for that, is asking for 40 to 50 years today. Um, Bankman Freed's new lawyers, Mark Mukasey and Dory Young, say it should be 63 months. It's going to be in the middle. We're going to live tweet it. You're going to see it in, in just a short while. But I'll say that it's not, it was never, I don't think, just about the years given to one individual. It's that this FTX scenario showed the absolute purchasability of the U.S. political system and also the interpenetration and the bribing of China, etc., by U.S. businesses. And to drop those charges, I believe, and continue to believe was shameful, and I don't think it was really, I don't think it was required. Um, uh, again, it's a negotiation that they had on the extradition, but uh, the rule of comity, I don't know. So Sam bacon will be brought in uh, by the back door, not through here, from the MDC. He's already in. Um, but people are waiting to photograph, I guess, counsel of various kinds. Maybe Mark Mukasey will speak. Maybe he'll speak afterwards. We'll have to see. Depends what the number is. There's another crypto trial actually upstairs. It's a high profile one actually, but it's going to get a lot less play today. And it's SEC versus Terraform Labs and Doquan. Doquan, also a criminal suspect, although he's in Montenegro. What, what would they trade to get him extradited from there? Who's, that's, the, that's the question. That's the question. Now let's move to some non-crypto news. Yesterday's fiasco was Amy Harris. Amy Harris, who, was, who got a plea deal for selling Ashley Biden's diary uh, that was found in a Florida apartment, um, sort of a drug rehab apartment, any of it. Um, she keeps not coming to her sentencing. Many people expected yesterday for marshals to be ordered, but it wasn't. She has this one last chance to April 9th. And yes, we will be covering it. Also, the, the, the scoop that we had on Mr. Daniel Sikama, um, who is charged in Brazil or a suspect in Brazil for killing his estranged husband, Brent Sikama, noted art gallerist from, uh, by the High Line here in New York, West 22nd Street. Um, he was released with the idea that a house in Queens would be put up as security. It's not being put up. They're looking for other real estate, but they've given him a, 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 another week to find uh, this Manhattan real estate. Meanwhile, in the United Nations, what can we tell you? Saudi Arabia has been elected. Yes, elected. You heard it right. Just like Antonio Guterres was elected Secretary General, Saudi Arabia has been elected to chair the Commission on the Status of Women. Now, some UN supporters are saying it's an outrage. They need to now change their policies. It's some extraneous, it's, it's no, it's the exception. That it's not, a, this is every day at the, at the UN. The UN says it's for freedom of the press and throws the press out. They say they're for protection of victims and they send peacekeepers to commit rapes. It's a travesty and we'll continue to push to get back in. But for now, we're going in to cover Sam Bacon Food's sentencing. To be continued.